I'm making Pluto a planet again. In this video, what I did was I learned when Pluto was found. I learned when it was no longer classified as a planet. And then I learned what are the three things that any planet needs to be considered a planet and why Pluto fails one of those things. After that, what I do is put all that knowledge to use and I make Pluto a planet again. And at the end, I mean, there is some unfortunate incidents that happen along the way, but sacrifices uh, had to be made to make Pluto a planet again. To me, it was worth it. So stick around guys and watch this video. Okay, so here's Pluto right here, a little dark as you can see. Um, It's very far out. If you look really close, I mean, you can't really even see the sun. So it's out there. But let me show you this right here. Pluto's discovered February 18th, 1930. It's a dwarf planet now in the Kuiper belt, which is a ring of bodies beyond the uh, orbit of Neptune. It's the ninth largest and 10th most massive object to directly orbit the sun. It's the largest known trans-Neptunian object by volume, by a small margin, but it's slightly less massive than Eris. Now let's take a look at Pluto. It's got a couple moons. Look, it's got Charon, Nix, Styx, Kerberos, and Hydra. I think, are those names of hell? Is that what that is? If you guys know what those are, uh, let me know in the comments. So here's Pluto, according to Google. It's kind of weird how like this side is, you know, maybe they don't know. We haven't we haven't been there yet or something compared to this side is like super clear and they have like all these named things the heart that's when it was discovered and it was a planet up until august 2006 when this happened let me bring this guy in here so in august 2006 the international astronomical union downgraded the status of pluto to that of a dwarf planet uh, this means from now on only the rocky worlds of the inner solar system and the gas giants will be designated as planets so what exactly did the IAU do to cause Pluto not to be considered a planet anymore? Well, let's take a look at this right here. So there's three things that you need to be declared a planet, which is number one, it must have enough mass and gravity to gather itself in a sphere. Well, let's take a look at Pluto. Done. Okay. Check. It must orbit the sun. Well, let's zoom out here. Um, it's orbiting the sun. Check. And here's where Pluto falls apart. It must reign supreme in its own orbit, having cleared the neighborhood of competing bodies. And so let's take a look at number three here. If we look at, you know, Charon is quite similarly sized to Pluto. When you really look at it, like it's very similar, even though it is orbiting Pluto, it's kind of similar. And then I think, where are the other ones? Let's see if we can find those if we zoom in a little bit more. Nyx, that was another moon. This looks more kind of like, look at that. That's interesting. It's kind of like rocky, like a clump of rock. We had Hydra. Let's take a look at that one. You know, they're all not that much bigger than Pluto, but apparently they're orbiting Pluto. So that's, this is another like rocky uh, kind of moon here. Interesting. So because Pluto and Charon, which I just looked it up, by the way, it's Charon, not Charon, like I've been calling it. Because Pluto and Charon are so close to each other, the Barry Center, which is actually like their orbit, like basically the center of the orbit amongst each other is outside of both of the planets or, you know, dwarf planets, I guess. It's really like a binary system rather than, even though it is, you know, orbiting Pluto, it's it's more of a binary system. So that is considered as Pluto's not clearing its orbit of competitors. What do we do? I think the easiest thing that we do here is, you know, let's times it by two. We'll make Pluto just, you know, double as big. And then let's see what happens. Let's see exactly what happens here. Speed up time. So, okay, so we're going at like, you know, an hour. Every second is an hour, and here comes Karen is coming in. This is not good. Oh my lord. So, wow, so we lost Karen, but I believe we just made Pluto even bigger from that impact. We can see here, plus 0 0.3, four times the size of the Earth. Okay, so you could call that eliminating its competitors, I think. I think Pluto literally, not only figuratively, but literally just eliminated Karen, its competitors. Sucked it into the planet. And let's take a look here. So according to Universe Sandbox, it is now a planet orbiting the sun. So we did it. Pluto is now a planet again. We can rejoice. Okay, so we did it. Pluto is now officially a planet again. All we had to do is increase its mass by two. It's, and it's not that hard and you have um, your own moon crashing directly into you. So, two birds with one stone, we have successfully eliminated the competitors. And what do you guys think? Should Pluto be a planet? Leave a comment uh, whether you think it should or it shouldn't. Personally, 
I don't know. I have the nostalgia of me says yes, but the, you know, the modern science says no. So, so if you like this video, uh, please give it a like. And if you haven't seen my channel before, please subscribe. Um, I'm always posting this kind of stuff. And that's it for this video, guys. So have a good one.